It's beer looking like on Real Ale Craft Beer. We are about to fly to Amsterdam, then make our way to Copenhagen in Denmark, uh, where we'll be meeting Peter the Master of Hobbits for a few beers, and then we're going to be making our way to the Brewski Festival in Sweden. It's going to be great. Looking forward to it. Really thirsty, and it's only the morning. Let's go. Let's go fly. <laughs> We are here finally in Helsingborg in Sweden. We traveled, we landed in Copenhagen, uh, made our way by train and then a boat to Helsingborg. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Right, I'm making my way to the Brewski Festival 2019. Um, I'm gonna go and do a brewery tour now with Hannah when I get to the festival. How are you Hi. doing? We're, uh, we're going to do a brewery tour yes. and we're going to fill this glass here with some amazing beer from the tank, straight from the tank. Yes, really best excited. way to drink it. Really best excited. way to drink it. Let's go, let's have a walk. Let's so where are we going first? Where am I in the brewery? So you're right now in our beer store, so where everything ends up when it's sort of finished. Okay. Which is fairly empty at the moment actually. Selling lots of beer, which is well, a great which thing. Which is a good thing. Which yes. is a great thing. Normally, it, it, before Bruskeval, we try and sort of yeah. get as much order as possible, so that's a little bit less in here. I, these cans here, they look very familiar. They do, don't they? I had some amazing, amazing videos. Oh, yeah, we've got are food. Are the key cakes? Key cakes over there. Oh, key cakes are yeah. just from someone else, I think. Okay. So you've got blueberry fever, you've got you know it, girl. So much going on here. Yeah, look at this. And I love the, the 330 cans. You've gone for the, like, um... The sleek ones? Yes, yes. Yeah, so they, they sort of look like the 440 cans, but they're slimmer. I'll tell you what differentiates you guys, Hannah, from a, a lot of different breweries. And that's, like, like the little French stubby bottles. I know. When the, you're very, you, you kind of go like, well, what's everyone else to do? We're going to go over there. We're going to do something different. And that's what I like about these... These cans here, they're, they're slightly different. Yes. It's great. They give the perfect exposure in a bar fridge without being so expensive for the customer. It's a 4.4. Four, yeah. 4.40. Four exactly. It's, just, it's, a, it's better for the customer, but still good for the bar. While the little stubby 33 centimeters, yeah. they, don't really, they, they don't really, the artwork doesn't really blow on I know. those. I know. So yeah, that's why. Cool. And we don't really want to punish our, our customers while going up a size. Of when course. When we switch. 440 is going to be a lot more expensive. It's a, yeah, of course, of course, a lot more expensive. And you brew with a lot of fruit. A lot, a of, lot fruit. of fruit, especially lately. Holy crap. Yeah. Yesterday, yeah. Frederick stood like, by hand. This is still a, we're not a very big brewery. But Frederick stood by hand on top of a, like a pallet in the air, tipping in 900 kilos of fruit. Wow. By hand. 20 oh kilos. Goodness. 20 kilos. Yeah. 20 kilos. 900 kilos. This, it, it's amazing. Oh wow, it's look at this. Look at the fermenters. Tank over here, 900 kilos. Wow. It's a 4,000 liter tank and it, we, we can't approve the full. Yeah. So it's only 3,000 liters because the rest is fruit. 
It's okay. like almost a quarter oh, fruit, pure a, fruit. A bit like, like the, how the Belgians, they brew the creeks, the cherry yes. creeks and stuff, yeah. Except we use puree. Yes. Yeah, yeah, of course. Somehow it needs to be able to get out of the tank. Yeah, yeah and there's a lot of cleaning, yeah. yeah. Um, so tell me about this space. Okay, so this used to be this used it? to be a slaughterhouse. Okay, you can Massive see the floor. Yeah. And well, it, it was I, I wasn't part of the company then, but when they moved in and they had to clean out all the drains. Yeah. Nothing had been done since the slaughterhouse moved out like okay. 30 years before. Wow. Not nice. So dried brown stuff everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but now wow. we're now we're back. So which is awesome. So really my ceilings. Space. Yeah, so if you know, I mean, you say you joined the company after, so did it start with a small fermenter and just a small brew house? This is not the way Marcus does things. Okay. He never does anything half assed he never does anything small to start off with. He, he learned to brew by a book. Okay. And then he went and worked with another local brewery, rented one of their smaller tanks. Yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna have to pick this up. No worries, I'll have a walk around while you. Um... Hey, honey. So we're at the the Brewski Fall, as, as you guys probably know. Um, Hannah's extremely busy. Um, she's running the whole beer festival, but she's taken a little bit of time out for me uh, to show me the, the the actual brewery. So so thank you very much to Hannah. So while she's on the phone sorting some critical business out, we'll show you a little bit of the. What's this? Maybe some on the polo or something. Ah, oh, Hannah, I was just saying. I was just saying. Um, you're the heartbeat of this Brewski festival, so well, the, phone the, fest, yeah. ring, the phone will ring. The phone will ring. You have to answer it. Yeah. So, so wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So we were talking about how Marcus does things. Yeah. So he started out reading about brewing. He's a chemist in the, in the core from the beginning. Worked with loads of different things, and then he wanted to start brewing. And he he never does anything halfway. Yeah. So he doesn't start on like a fifty liter brewmeister or something like that. No, he rented a 500 liter brew house at another brewery, learned to brew from them, and then bought this. Like basically the, the kit hasn't changed. Wow, and let's have a look at this, this kit. This is it. So lots of fermenters. Yeah, lots of fermenters. Of, like yeah, I know, it's fantastic. That's grown. So, so, so some big fermenters here. Do you do, you, do, you do some lagering as well? Like, no, we want to but don't dare to. Yeah, okay. okay. Also, difficult to get kegs up here. Right, okay, okay. It's very expensive to ship kegs. I see, I from see. From the other side of the world, and yeah. Yeah. So no, we don't do a lot. We do small batches. We normally have some uh, uh, oak somewhere with something, but it's like one or two or three or four, not like, not, not a very big scale. It's very small scale. Cool, cool. It's fabulous, it's fabulous. Let's, let's, and the bottling line, so yes, all of it was... We bought a bottling line from the beginning. Right, okay. And we use these tiny little bottles, the ones you can probably see. Yes, my, these, are, these are fabulous. I love the, the identity bottles. of your brewery. Like the little medicine bottles. Yeah, the so French cool. stubbies we call them in the UK. Yeah. Little French stubby lager bottles, I love them. A, they're cute, they yeah. pop in a fridge. Yeah. B, you can fit so many more of them on a pallet. Yes, exactly. It's fantastic. Exactly. Yeah. Much better. Much better than the yeah. bigger ones. Like, you need a C pallet to fit what we can fit on a Euro pallet with the small ones. Wow. Which wow. was one of the reasons. But yeah, this so this is why in January this will finally be paid off. Okay. And then we'll sell it. Right, So okay. we can buy a canning line. <laughs> oh, so the, the, the cans are contract? Uh, they, yes. They're contract, they're so okay. there's a canning company in Sweden called Canman. Okay. And they, they come here with a machine. Yeah. We set it up, we can, and then they leave again. Okay, okay. We would have preferred to have our own, but it's of a course, big investment. You're gonna, you're gonna do it's not going to happen soon. right now. No, no. Um, as we're on that subject. Yes. The importance of can versus bottle, um, I, I think personally, a can is fresher, it calls the beer better, Yes. it's re more recyclable, they don't break as easy. Well actually no, they break much more easily Do they? than ah. the yeah. bottles. The bottles are, well, on a pallet, on they a break pallet. easier okay. in the can, Okay. because you drive into something, 
and it's yeah. only in a tray it's not like in a massive thick right. case it's actually in a tray so yeah. you hit it with a, a little bit with a with touch. a, a yeah, touch yeah with something. anything going yeah. past and it's gonna break okay. but if you wow the bottle will hold better but in the store or for the, like the, for the consumer who then picks it up at it in the shop yeah. yes can holds much better and it's better for the beer of course I mean, yeah, that's the main thing. It's better for the beer. I think it's, if you ask Marcus or anyone, it's it's the future of the industry. We're all going to move to can. It's, it's yeah, going to happen. Absolutely. Maybe not for special stuff. Maybe not for stuff you want to age for a really long time, where air actually has like going through a cork or something. But if not, can is far superior quality-wise. Cool. And much cool. easier to control. The control the amount of oxygen going in. Of course, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's a really good point, a really good point. You don't have a bottleneck that's got air in it, you actually have a, like, it's full full. Right, is that why a lot of the cans, when you open them, they, like, like froth? Yeah. Yeah, that's the reason because why. Because you actually cold. fill them all the way up, so when you punch down, Bang. you actually punch into the beer. Right, okay, okay. So you're actually pushing it up, and that makes it foam. Yeah, it's really annoying, though. I got it. But yeah, it's better for the beer. <laughs> of course. Oh, this is amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, hey, hey. I uh, walk around the back. Hi. Hello. So Hannah's um, the festival's going on behind, as you can see. So I'm going to go get a little spiral so we can hook you up to oh, some beer. Yeah, I, I almost forgot about the beer. How could I? How could I forget? <laughs> you had too much beer already? I don't know. I, I've had a bit, yeah. Um, so why did we walk and talk? Um, the Brewski Festival, this amazing, amazing festival. The, it's like um, Willy Wonka's, me being in like, like a beer, kind of Willy Wonka's factory. And now I'm going around, I'm like, I want to try that one, I want to try that one. I know, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, it must be like a lot, like nine months work to get all of this together. Oh, no, no, no. I, to be honest, Marcus does all the inviting. Okay. It's, it, most, the, most of these people are personal friends. Ah, people okay. we admire. Of course. People we just think are really cool people. Cool people, bringing cool people. It's not yeah. always... The, the, the logic is not always obvious. Yeah, yeah. And the food, the barbecuing stuff is... I know. Perfect. I Holy know. smoker. I know. I've not been yet. I've been drinking too much beer, but I'm gonna go and grab some food now. Oh, and oh, there. and the and the crayfish, the whooped crayfish, yeah. with garlic and chili. Really good, really good. So there, there, that's what I'm aiming for. Okay, okay. But no, so Marcus invites and he brings his friends, which is sort of why we increase the amount of breweries every year. <laughs> the man it's, can't say no. He finds some, good people. He's like, oh, come, 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 come. come. Yeah. <laughs> Yes! Uh, actually, I think the easiest one is to use, if you go straight in, there's one that says yeast and samples. Okay, I'm going to drop some beer in there so I can pour it later for cooking. Are you out already? Huh? You no, out? no, no, I have more, but I just want to like get these cold. So that yeah, sure, just use the one straight ahead that says yeast and samples. Okay, that's Other Half. Other Half Brewing Company has been, um, we got some amazing breweries here. That was great timing. One of the greatest American breweries, other half, just mm -hmm. you know, wandering in. I know. Yeah, it, it, it's, it, it's amazing. It's unreal. It is fantastic. Like, yeah. You you work for Brewski for a while, and the people that I used to think were rock stars and you know unattainable. But you, you know, are now as well. Your no, beers. No, yeah. well, I think so. I think so. No, no. I mean, we have. It's like Marcus. Marcus always says we have a hundred and seven breweries here. If we hit top 100 out of those 107, we've made a mistake. Yeah. We should be the worst here. No. No, we should set the, the bar and our guests yeah. should be above us. I get, you. I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe not this time. I think there's a couple of people who we give some good competition to. <laughs> but no, I mean, it's a general rule. That's what we're aiming for. Yeah, yeah. We just want people to come who are amazing people and who make Awesome beer. Awesome beer. Yeah, people that knock our socks off. I, I want you to knock my socks off. There you Come go. on. Come Wait, on. Let me, let's, let's just have a little. There we go. 
Straight from the yeah. tank. That. Oh, smell that. Straight from the tank. Oh, it's pure tropical juice coming out. Oh, Ooh, that's awesome. Nothing's gonna knock your socks off. Absolutely nothing. This is amazing. I'm not gonna have that. I'm not gonna have that. A hundred breweries better than you guys. No, this is... Oh, this is terrific. I'm not taking any of that. I'm too experienced. Uh, well, you see, this is, me. This, is, this is incredible beer. This is incredible beer. Could I hand, could I, do you mind if I hand you the yeah, camera sure. for a moment while I... Um, so, um, again, we've been talking, so, so what do I have? You have second base. It's a cola with McKellar NYC. It's sort of a take on our pango. Yeah. But it's a double IPA with lactose. It's got a malt profile that's similar to what they do in, in New York. Yeah. But with the mango, passion fruit, and pineapple. Okay, pa mango, passion fruit. So, proper classic brewski, but ah. with a sort of American touch to it, maybe. And the ABV? I'll call 8%. 8% ABV. Look at this. I mean, fantastic. Straight out of the tank. Nothing excites me more than visiting a brewery and getting beer straight out of the tank. This is the Look best way to drink. Exactly. Best exactly. Drink. Yeah. And you're getting it quite far down. I'm seeing it's maybe a little too cloudy. I, I think it's going to be slightly less when it comes out. An old brewer once told me, the smaller the bubble, the better the beer. Oh, yeah. There's, there's no that. smaller bubble than that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay. Head's holding up really nicely. Yeah, right? yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It smells terrific. I'm going to dive in. <laughs> can I say stone the crows? Like, can stone I say, the crows. stone the crows? <laughs> stone the crows. It's really balanced. It's so balanced for yeah. an eight percent ABV double IPA. You wouldn't. You'd be thinking maybe pale ale. Yeah. I wouldn't really think creamy, there's double pale ale, mm. fruity, but not double. No, I know. It's not so drinking well like hidden. a double. So 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 well hidden. Yeah. Dangerously well hidden. Mm. Smashable, absolutely smashable, smashable beer. Um, it's got a beautiful head on it. The mouthfeel is terrific. Is there a lot of oats in the beer? A lot of like lactose or oats? Lactose and oats. Lactose and oats. You really get the, the, the fantastic mouthfeel. Creamy, great depth to it. The balance with the hops and the fruit is terrific. Absolutely terrific. And there's a little tingle of bitterness on the back of the the palate there, just to balance off that little bit of sweetness from the fruit. Unbelievable. So it's Unbelievable. technically a New England IPA, but we've never left having hops in the in the boil. Yeah. So it's a little bit of bitterness. It's you can't leave it all together. Even though technically you should, but no. Yeah. That's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for me, Love Craft Beer. Oh, I'm going to say, wow. gonna say, I've had some double IPAs today. Um, this is, of course, straight from the tank, the best double IPA I've had today. If, if the other brewers don't mind me saying that, this is terrific. <laughs> 10 out of 10, Stone the Crows. Um, thanks for the brewery tour, Hannah. No, Thank you very, very much for, for having me. And um, let's go drink some beer. Yes. Cheers. Cheers.